Hello, and welcome to this video of Odoo, brought to you by Confiance, a gold partner. Today, we will be bringing you the sales module and how it will help you and your sales team. Here, we have the interface of Odoo. It's set up much like the OS of your mobile device. You can download and install modules much like you install apps. This can expand with your company from small with just a few modules that you need, all the way up to a large company with all the modules that we have at our disposal and even custom modules that we can create for your individual company. Here we have the sales module that we will be covering today. Let's go ahead and begin. As a sales representative for your company, the first thing that you want to do is create an offer to your customer. And the way that you do this is go under quotations and create. Once here you would want to add a new customer. And as you can see, you can bring up prior customers that you've had create and edit a new customer or with Odoo's direct search function bring up exactly the customer that you're looking for off the net and it will try and pull in some of the data fields for you. We'll go ahead and save that. Now that we have our customer set in let's go ahead and add their products. We'll say they wanted a chair specifically an office chair. As you can see you can set in the order quantity the unit price, it has the total cost of manufacturing that chair, any discount you wish to apply, packaging services, you can choose FedEx, DHL, UPS, and many others, any taxes that may apply in your area, we'll say 15%, and delivery lead time, we'll say 5 days. We'll go ahead and save that. Go ahead and add a section as well, we'll say furniture. And move that up above chairs. We'll also go ahead and add another product. This time we'll say desk lamp. And since it's not in the system, we'll go ahead and add it. We'll go ahead and set the unit price for $10. And we'll say the total cost was $5 to make it. Again, set taxes. Delivery lead time will again set for five days. Save and close. We'll also add another section. This time we'll call it lights. And move that up. Now that you have your quotation filled out, you can either send it to the customer by email, send pro forma invoice, or print if the customer is directly in front of you. We'll go ahead and send by email. And due to autofill by my browser, we're going to skip ahead a minute for security concerns. Now that we have the dummy email in place, we'll go ahead and save. And here you can see the quotation that your customer will receive. Here is the actual attached file of it. We'll go ahead and send it. Now that we sent it, I'll go ahead and show you the preview of it. And this is what your customer would see on their end. We'll go back to the quotations. Now that we're back to here, you can also see on the side chatter all the progress that was made throughout this creation of quotation and we'll go ahead and say that the customer went ahead and confirmed it and now you can see you can also create an invoice and it's moved it to a sales order which starts other processes in Odoo such as if the chair needed to be manufactured it would have moved that into the manufacturing module and it queues up one for delivery next let's cover if you have products of different variants you would first come up here to configuration and go to settings. Once here you would activate the variants and options and go under attributes. As you can see the demo already comes with three presets so we have different style legs for our chairs and furniture, different colors which we'll go ahead and edit. We'll also add red 
blue and green we'll save this now let's add these different variants to our product then we'll choose our product we'll choose this chair go to variants edit add new line item colors and then we'll say this chair comes in white black blue and green we'll save next we'll manipulate the prices of the variants so we'll go to configure variants and we'll say that the blue and green chair cost a little more we'll say it's three dollars for the conference chair and same with the green now let's say at a later date you need to remove one of those variants you simply could come back to variants edit and then remove any of the variants from this list or if say your product is out of stock you could simply come up here to products product variants go ahead and remove this search and we'll search for our conference chair here you see all the different variants of the conference chair between our two variants that we put in and we'll go ahead and select the leg steel with blue coloring and here you can see that you can archive it for later and remove it off of your website now let's head back to quotations and see how this will look like with the new variants added in go to orders quotations we'll head over to create a new one here we'll select another new customer this time we'll go with somebody who's already in the system we'll add a product it was our conference chairs we'll select the blue and because it's a demo there is none in currently in the system you can change this we'll say we have one in stock We'll go ahead and save that. And then we'll also go back at another conference chair. This time we'll add the black one. Also, again, it says it's out of stock. But again, for the demo purposes, we'll say that there's one in stock. And automatically, you can also see the price difference of the $3 for the color. We'll go ahead and save this. send it by email and preview and as you can see down here it shows the different variants in the chairs and the different pricing next we'll show how to set up online quotations and set up your customer portals to automate most of your business in the background come on under settings you'll want to make sure that you're under sales and then scroll down and you'll activate online signature quotation templates quotation payment and quotation builder go ahead and save this Now that we have that saved, let's go down to quotation templates and create our first quotation template. Also, if at any time that you need to get here again, you can quickly go here by going to configurations and quotation templates. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And we'll go ahead and add our conference room table. and add for a product our large meeting table now the great thing about the quotation templates is you can go ahead and add in optional products and because it's a conference room table we'll go ahead and add the conference chairs
And while they might not want exactly those chairs, we'll also go ahead and add in our other two available chairs. And then also, if you didn't want them to say have the signature right off the bat, but you wanted the payment off the bat, you can go ahead and unclick online signatures if you want. We'll go ahead and leave that on as well. You could also set up in a confirmation email if you want. We're not going to do that for right now. We'll go ahead and save this. Now that we have the basis for the template, let's go ahead and edit it and what your customer sees. We'll go ahead and edit this. As you can see, it starts out pretty basic, but you can quickly change it just by throwing in fields. We'll go ahead and change this to your conference room. To try and get the customer to think larger than just the table they are buying. We'll also go ahead and throw in an image. The neat thing about Odoo is you can also pull in media off the net. We'll just throw in one to give a representation of a conference room. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now that we have created our new quotation template, let's go back to sales. And we'll go ahead and create a new quotation. We'll select a customer, choose our template. As you can see, it automatically puts it in the field and adds our optional products. We'll go ahead and send that by email. And we'll preview it. This is what they will see when they go to confirm. There's our entire setup we made through the template design. And here is our office chairs that we added for optional products. They can go ahead and add them to their shopping cart. They can also accept and sign and they can go ahead and reject. And they'll give back feedback if they want to reject. And there's your template. Now let's cover shipping. So we'll return to sales, go to configurations, settings, and we scroll down and here we have shipping. So we'll go ahead and activate UPS and FedEx connector. As you see, we already have shipping costs turned on. Go ahead and save this. Now that that's saved, let's go to the new configuration delivery method. Under here, you see the lines for the providers that you have chosen, and then you also have free delivery charges. We'll go ahead and click that. Under here, you see the free deliveries has a fixed price of $0. Let's say we wanted to actually have a delivery charge fee of $6 minimal. So we'll go ahead and change this. Come down here, edit, $6. We'll change this to just delivery charge. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now let's say you actually have delivery charges based on rules. So we'll go ahead and create a template for that. Call it rule based template. Go ahead and click for based on rules. Then we'll come down here and add a line. On this line, we will say if weight is less than or equal to five pounds, then it will have a charge of six dollars. We'll go ahead and save. Add another line. We'll say if weight is greater than or equal to 20 pounds, then it will be $30. Save. And we'll add another line that if price is greater than or equal to $500, then no delivery charge. And because these are set in priority, we'll move that last one to the top. Then we have to come over here to delivery products and we'll create a new one. We'll say delivery charges.
and save and then save here now we'll see how to use that with a quotation we'll come up here to orders go to quotations and then create new we'll come back down here and add a new customer go to delivery method set our delivery charge we'll first put it in that meeting table from earlier and this should well exceed the weight limit so we should get a free charge now let's go ahead and delete that and we'll change it to one of the office chairs get new rate and it got charged six dollars Thank you for joining us today here at Confiance with the Sales Module Demo for Odoo. If you would like a live demo or have any questions, please contact us. We strive to be as helpful to you as if we were a member of your own team. Have a wonderful day.